Greetings and bienvenue, my fellow gamers. It has been a long time since I have posted a video, although I'm sure many of you watching this now probably won't even notice. But I am not offended. It is okay. Uh, basically, I do this at my leisure, so it's no big deal. But I thought I might um, bring you some no-brainer videos that um, I just found fun to put together. Um, basically, the, the Lorewalker cinematics. Um, not hard to do, but interesting to get. Either way, um, if you if you want to get exalted, the fastest uh, for some reason they have a very unique setup. These guys, if you go all over Pandaria and find these little pieces of um, I don't know what they are, scrolls or materi materials, because they're not all scrolls. Some of them are like objects. You'll notice that they have a, a glow to them. And the game doesn't actually tell you what they are. It's kind of like almost an Easter egg. They're all over Pandaria, and they're not hard to find, although it does take time because they're spread out throughout the continent. If you have a guide, you can get it done in two hours or less. I know someone got it done in less than an hour. Uh, it took me and a friend two hours to do it. Uh, we were using a guide that wasn't really that accurate. Um, but it was pretty cool. Uh, you get to you you once you do this you get all this stuff you go back to Lower Walker Cho and you get exalted right away it doesn't even matter where you're at with them if you didn't even bother working on a rep with them you'll get exalted so literally you'll get exal exalted in like two hours give or take less more it really depends on how you're doing uh, and this is one of those I'm gonna post one every day. You know, the you know, obviously not a very hard video to make, but you know, just get them out there. I thought they were really cool, and also show off uh, this design by my sister, uh, which is gonna be my new avatar for my channel. I'm also working on a new back page, which is gonna be coming out. Um, so here you go. Great events often have humble beginnings. Consider. A quiet pond. Still, the water is like a sheet of glass. Until I throw a stone. Such a small thing. But soon, ripples engulf the whole of the lake. The genu also have humble origins. Once primitive creatures, they were fortunate enough to live near the enchanted pools within the veil. The magic of the pools expanded their minds and grew their bodies until they became one of the great ancient cultures of Pandaria. The wisest of the Jinyu are very wise indeed. They can speak to the rivers the way you and I would consult our elders. In the whispering waters, they can hear the future. The Jinyu and their water speakers stand at the very heart of the greatest events in Pandaria's history. Their visions built empires, freed slaves, and warned our last emperor of the Sundering that shattered Azeroth 10,000 years ago. Think about it. The smallest voice can change the world. Consider that, friend, the next time you decide to start growing stones. <laughs> <laughs> 